Corso Concepts showing up. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I got him. Uh, that should be good. That, that should be about good. I don't know where you want to hook this thing to. Yeah. Yeah, so I got a strap. Um, this thing's looking sweet. It's crazy to see, like, to see it together after making all the panels over months and months, you know? Full size. This thing's pretty badass. Yeah. All right, let's get it unloaded. Go the other way. Okay, about to be set down. I feel like we have a Formula One car in the shop. Dude, it looks so much. <laughs> you good, Cameron? It looks so bad with all the old things, but don't worry about it. I ended up slicing these guys up so I could fit them in the cab of my truck. Um. But I cut them way further back. So that cut line that Michael designed uh, in there is going to be somewhere like right in there. Okay. So I just wanted to slice it further back. That way you don't about blown out. I, I for real feel like there's a Formula One car in the shop yeah, right now. Like, when, once you put these bottom pieces on, it looks pretty spectacular. This thing is awesome. I just made this like 3D bird in a fusion yeah. for these cuckoo clock things that I do on the CNC up there. I'm like, man, I'm getting pretty good at this stuff. And then I see stuff like this, I'm like, man, what? this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I always tell Anthony, like, the stuff I do, I'm doing, like, addition, and he's doing, like, calculus, you know, all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Back here at Excess Motorworks at Brian's shop, and Corso brought his chassis with the body panels mounted the other day. And uh, what we're gonna do is final panel fitment on this thing. Another thing we have to do is a small design change, and this happens a lot when you design something in the computer. Um, no matter how good your designer is, how good you are, how good your eye is, it, it's still just a computer rendered idea of what a 3d shape is so when it's actually in person in real life in real three dimensions you might not like stuff and that's why i i tend to do small scale models before going to full size but even still when you go to full size you might not like some of the proportions um michael the designer of this body is really really good and really experienced so this body overall is just about perfect but there was one thing that lance wanted to change and because I went with my process of doing very kind of a rapid prototype composite panel, we're going to be able to make the changes to these panels. And then if we like them and everything, then we could go to our production molds. So it's going to save a lot of time and the customer a lot of money. Um, that's pretty much why I started developing this process and it's paying off right now. Um, so let me show you what we're going to change. Okay, so here's the body. And as you come around the side, you can see this tape line here that he's got on this panel. This panel is sticking out quite wide. It does match the wing, but if you remember, this is gonna be a trike. So it's gonna have one back wheel, kinda. <laughs> can, we, can we get that to line up? Yeah, a little bit. But anyway, somewhere in that area. But it's gonna get really skinny. And it was looking a bit awkward to Lance, um, the owner of Corso. So what he did is he went ahead and he cut the other side and he had brought this in. 
it's not gonna stay right now. Maybe we could get it close. Eh, it's not gonna stay for the video. But anyway, um, it looked a lot better for him and it matched the silhouette from the top. So where that tape line is, when he comes all the way up top, it kind of, that's where that line projects down. So he's, we're, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this side also. And um, we'll basically have to make some, some just grafting um, of another panel into it. But the bottom panels, the lower panel of the, the vehicle, the belly pan, as you will, um, has to be changed quite substantially because it just won't work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this right about here. So we'll keep the front and then the back of this panel is gonna be brand new. So I'm gonna be able to take you guys through the process of getting CAD from the designer and making a patch panel. And then we're gonna mount it on this thing blend it in, and if all's well, if um, everybody likes it, then we're gonna go ahead, finish the final fitment on this thing, and go to our production molds. All right, everybody. Here we are on the computer, checking out the Corso Concepts California CAD model. Move it around a little bit for you guys. So here's the total body before some of the modifications. And as you can see, right in this zone, that's where we're going to make our cut and our change. And I'll look from the top, and you can see how it overhangs from the silhouette of the top of the body. So, let's go from the back. All right, so now we're gonna open up the new model and it's just the back panels. The red is existing design and the green panel is the change. So, actually that's not quite 100% true because this has to be patched back on the red panel, but that's after that panel was cut, that gets patched back on, and then the lower skin needs to be completely remade. But instead of making the whole panel again, what we're doing here, let's see if that's the one, is, we're making it a separate piece, and there's going to be a flange here. So the front half of the panel that we already made is gonna be able to be saved. And then what we're gonna do after we make it is for manufacturing in the future, I believe we're gonna attach these two panels, make them one mold them in one piece instead of having a split there and the same thing we're going to do on the front here so i'll go back to this other model and yeah we're going to end up probably where we cut this in the in the middle we're going to go that's actually going to cut right in this zone here we're going to do these as one piece as well i think so we'll see we'll see how it goes then here you can see Michael did have a little bit of a joggle here. Um, I don't know exactly what they were planning to do there, but once we saw it in person, we decided to bring that in. Make it flush with this shape here. And then bring the line up to converge with the line coming down from the cowl and they'll end up going the same place okay back in fusion and here's the panel and then 
there you go. This is a, just a quick um, add-on of some flanges. Nothing too fancy or nothing, but um, here I'll hide the original. And basically now I'm going to just make my tool paths for that. I just have flange area um, to lay up the part and for doing the machining. And um, I'll go ahead and make the tool paths now and show you guys. Okay. That. So here we are. I got a piece of EPS foam. And I just screwed in a couple of um, pieces of aluminum on the sides as a guide. And that's my little um, hot saw, hot wire cutter, I mean, um, template. And I'll go ahead and turn this thing on and cut this piece. Um, it's almost the size. I just got to cut this in half now. And then we'll bond this to some plywood. <laughs> you guys liked how quick and easy a design change was able to be implemented with a composite body panel on this vehicle. Um, as you can see, I am totally full of this foam, but that's life around this shop. Using this stuff, it gets all over the place. So anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the uh, time lapse of all that, and I'll give you a little bit of a better view of this thing. It still needs final body work and some patching and stuff, but the main shape is there now on both sides tail lights are in get back here you can see nice and tucked down tucked in like he wanted so i'm actually going to be making him a new hood right now so stay tuned 
this vehicle is going to be completely amazing when it's done. Um, I just really wanted to showcase how we can make running changes and a prototype design. Um, and, and, and that's basically been my goal this whole time is I want to be able to provide a customer with the ability to make these changes and not have them break the bank or spend months and months of extra time. So we want to be able to be able to do this fast, cost effective, and still give the customer a great result in the end. Like this body, I put a lot of reinforcement where we connected different panels that we wanted to change how, uh, you know, there were certain splits we wanted to combine them. So I reinforced everything. So this body, after we make our final molds, this body is gonna be their running prototype. So they're gonna be track testing with this body. It's made of S glass and epoxy. So that thing is strong and um, it's gonna be great for their running prototype. Um, and if they need to make any other changes before we make their final molds, um, they're gonna be able to do that. So um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching. And um, I hope to be showing you a lot more of this stuff in the future.